Hello kids! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher Job. The fourth quarter of Grade 4 Science focuses on Earth and Space. The Earth is composed of three components, which are the soil, water, and air, with the sun as our main source of energy. Soil is one of the important natural resources on Earth. It is made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It also contains water and some gases found at the uppermost layer. And also, land composed 29% of the Earth's surface. While 71% of the Earth's surface is composed of water. More than 97% of the Earth's water is in the world's seas and oceans. Some bodies of water are stored in the mountains, underground and other forms the ice caps in the poles of the earth. The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called atmosphere. The conditions of the atmosphere give rise to weather conditions. Kids, are you ready for our new lesson? Our lesson for today is entitled, Types of Soil and Its Characteristics. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to define what is soil and second, identify the different types of soil based on their physical characteristics. Soil covers most of the land part of the earth, a home for plants, animals, and humans. There are three types of soil. Let us discuss them one by one. The first type of soil that we have is a sand. Sand contains particles that are coarser than clay and loam. It is loose and easy to dig. This soil is not good for growing plants because it cannot hold water well. Water easily passes through between soil particles. Next, we have clay. It is composed of very fine particles and is packed together tightly. This type of soil becomes sticky when wet and it can hold more water. Since it can be formed into different shapes, it is widely used in making potteries and ceramics. The last type of soil that we have is loam. Soil contains the right mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals called humus. Loam soil can hold enough water and oxygen which are needed for plant growth. Now, let's try to answer the different questions. Direction. You're going to identify the types of soil described in each number. You have three choices inside the box. We have sand, clay, and loam. For question number one, 
it contains particles that are coarser than clay and loam. Number 2. It is composed of very fine particles and is packed together tightly. Number 3. This type of soil contains the right mixture of sand and clay. For number 4, this soil is not good for growing plants because it cannot hold water well. And number 5, it is widely used in making potteries and ceramics. The correct answer for number one is sand. Very good! For number two, the correct answer is clay. Next, we have number three. The correct answer is loam. Very good, kids! Next, we have number four. The correct answer is sand. Good job, kids! Let's have number five. The correct answer is clay. Very good, kids! Each soil type differs in color, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. Some soils are good for planting, while others are not. Soil is a system into which energy and matter from the sun, the atmosphere, and the living organisms penetrate and interact. It is also a system because it is composed of many different parts or layers. Each layer has a special function to perform. That's all for today, kids. I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. See you on my next video lesson!